guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be looking at the Arteza 72 colored pencil set expert. If you watch my videos, you may have seen that I've already kind of checked them out. I mixed them with the Arteza alcohol markers and found them to be pretty good. I really enjoyed them and I just wanted to go ahead and do a separate and full review just using them because I wanted to show these colored pencils off completely from beginning to end with a full piece. So it comes in a really nice case made of tin, tin, yeah, <laughs> and I did have a bit of trouble with these little notches here because I've had them for about a few weeks now and I have used them not a whole ton but I have used them quite a bit and the cap kind of unhinged but it was an easy fix. I went ahead and hinged it back. No big deal. So these are all the colors we've got. These are all 72 colors which I feel is a pretty good color selection and I've been debating on whether I should do a color swatch. I don't know if it would be necessary. I'm usually pretty big on color swatching but I feel when it comes to colored pencils they're pretty accurate when it comes to the color of the pencil and the color that it ends up laying down. So the piece that I'm going to be coloring is this I went ahead and drew it up digitally in Paint Tool Sci. It is actually a draw this in your style piece, which basically is just an Instagram thing where somebody draws something and they basically say, hey, if you wanna draw what I just drew in your style, go ahead and... So the creator of this character is Polaris Magic. She's an artist on Instagram. I will have a link to her Instagram in the description below. And when I saw this piece that she made of this beautiful character, I was like, I have to draw it. I have to. And so I did. And I figured it would be a great opportunity to color in with the Arteza colored pencils. So I'm going to put my pencils just kind of around me and I'm gonna go ahead and begin. And if you've been following me and my channel for a while, you'll find that I don't use color pencils a lot and that has nothing to do with color pencils in general. I just don't always use them. And I definitely want to change that because color pencils is a medium that I've always loved and they're a pretty simple medium to work with. Mm. And these pencils were sent to me by Arteza for free in exchange for an honest review. I do find that they are pretty comparable to Prismacolors. I feel like Prismacolors have a softer lead to it. It's been a while since I've used my Prismas, but, but these leads feel just a bit stronger, which is pretty cool because when you sharpen them, they get to a really nice fine point and it's harder to break the lead because of how much more sturdier it is. Whereas with Prismacolors, due to their softer cores, the lead tends to break off quite often. I really like this color I'm using right now. It's plum, which is kind of funny because it doesn't look like a plum kind of color. Plum color makes me think of more purple kind of hue. But regardless, it's super, super pretty. Okay, so the character that Polaris Magic made had like crystal light blue eyes. So I'm going to go with a light gray and just use it super light and then go in with some blues. So maybe this periwinkle and I'm just going to color in the top half of the eye and then I'm going to go with a more striking color robin egg blue and then color in the pupil. Doesn't seem dark enough that pupil. Maybe I'll bring out this dark blueberry and see if I can get a darker color. Yeah, I think this one's better. And then I and then I'm going to bring this color down and like outline the outer area like so. So you see the difference compared to this side. And then I'll do the same over here. And it just makes the eyes look much more impactful, I guess you could say. Just makes them look stronger. There we go. <laughs> and then I'm gonna pull out that same gray in order to shade the whites of her eyes since there'd be a shadow about here. And then because I have no patience when it comes to shinies, I'm already adding them in with just a regular white gel pen. And so I took out the plum color again because I loved it so much. And I'm basically just going to add some color around the crease of her eye. I don't know. Seemed like a good idea. And I think it is. 
I feel like the color really makes the blue of her eyes pop. I don't know, just brings a lot of attention to her eyes. And I think that's just super pretty and exactly what I'm looking for. Like now she looks super magical. <laughs> now I'm just being weird and adding it as shading as well. It's just such a pretty color. Okay, yeah, I'm getting a little carried away. <laughs> But can confirm, these pencils do blend really well. I'm very satisfied with that. I like how I said I needed to stop and I'm still going. But now I just feel like I need to balance everything, so that's why I'm adding more. <laughs> okay, moving on. So I'm taking the periwinkle color again, and I'm going to start doing her hair, which is like a bluish white. I do wish they had more grayish blues. Like right now I'm using a darker greenish blue. It's called ocean blue, but I don't know. I really was hoping for more grayish blue because periwinkle is a very kind of grayish blue and they have grays, but they're way too gray <laughs> as they should be since they're gray. But, but yeah, I was kind of hoping to do the shading of her hair with just a darker grayish blue rather than this oceany blue that I've got going on here. And I don't think I mentioned the price yet, but basically for these 72 pack, they are $29.69 on Amazon. And I definitely feel that that pricing is pretty good in terms of quality of these pencils, the packaging, and just how they are performing so far. For $29.96, basically $30. I honestly don't think that's too bad. And I think like Prismacolors have their 72 pack at about $10 more. So it's nice that the Artezas are a bit cheaper. And I know we keep bringing up Prismacolors, but that's basically the only other colored pencil I've pretty much ever used. I mean, besides Crayola, but but I feel like with Crayola, that's a given that I've used it. I think pretty much most of my viewers, if you've grown up in the American school system, you've probably at some point used Crayola colored pencils. And I mean, obviously these are much more professional grade than Crayola. So I'm 100% excited about how this hair is turning out, but I definitely made it a lot more blue than I intended to. But the cool thing about drawing this in your style challenges is that I could just be like, oh, well, that's my style, <laughs> making it more blue than it actually is. So there's always that I can say to justify the color. <laughs> Okay, I finally finished the hair, which took like 10 years. And I think that's one reason why I tend to stay away from colored pencils is because it takes kind of a long time to color with. That's just my own personal opinion. I feel that alcohol markers are faster. However, I also feel like the end result of colored pencils is so much prettier. So, you know, there's a bit of a trade-off there. So now I'm using this yellow color to get some of the gold colored in. This color is <laughs> ivory. Say that very oddly because uh, I've always envisioned ivory to be much more of a yellowish white rather than a straight up yellow. So that was surprising. I think one of the big reasons I chose this piece by Polaris is because of this beautiful crescent moon that this character is holding with this, I don't know, design in the middle. And don't be fooled, it took a long time to draw and was an absolute pain in my rear. <laughs> But the end result came out super pretty, so I often find myself not being able to really complain much when something turns out really, really good, despite taking either a long time or a difficult time. These yellows are blending super well together. And it was kind of funny because I was kind of a little worried about using colored pencils and being able to blend with them. So I watched like a bunch of tutorials on blending the colors of colored pencils. And I watched one where somebody mentioned a solvent and I was like, what? So I went to Hobby Lobby. Was it Hobby Lobby? No, I went to Michael's and I found a solvent specifically meant for colored pencils. And it was like in pencil kind of form, the solvent. And I started doing some practice runs and found that it absolutely did not help. <laughs> if anything, it was really weird. It was, it was basically just scratching at the colors. And I guess in a way that makes sense, 
because, you know, blending is oftentimes either pushing two colors together or lifting a color in order to add another one. But this was just really weird. It just wasn't really helping and it was eating at the paper at the same time. So I'm not entirely too sure what that was all about. It's extremely possible that I just got a really terrible kind, cheap kind. I mean, I'm not one to knock down cheaper versions, but it was Artist Loft's brand. And from what I understand, Artist Loft is Michael's, the store's own brand. So I guess it's kind of like going to, I don't know, Walmart and buying the great value version of products because it's a great value. <laughs> And it's possible that they just made a terrible product or I just don't know how to use it. That's an extremely plausible conclusion as well. Regardless though, I think I just got nervous for no reason because honestly, I'm just using these Arteza colored pencils as is with blending and they're coming out great. So I'm not sure what I was nervous about. <laughs> and then in Polaris's version, she has like a constellation inside of this gem thing but I'm gonna skip that and just make it a gem. Mostly because the white gel pen that I have doesn't work that well on top of colored pencil because the colored pencil is quite waxy. When you press, when you press really hard it is. It's not waxy in general, but when you're really depositing the color, all of that wax doesn't really allow you to put white gel pen on top all that well. So around this area, I'll probably be able to put some white gel pen because I didn't put too much color there. So I can put some shinies, maybe. I don't know, it depends on how well it <laughs> works. I'm not getting the results that I want. Ah. Okay, never mind. I thought I would be able to put down some white gel pen, but that doesn't seem to be the case. That's a bummer. Oh well, so I broke out an acrylic paint pen, the Posca pens, because I really want to see white shinies. <laughs> I know, I'm ridiculous. I'm 100% ridiculous, but you know, it's important to me. And so now I'm just gonna color the background in super dark, kind of like a night sky. I'm starting with noir, which is basically just black. And then I'm gonna try and see if I can fade it out from this black to like a really dark navy to maybe a lighter blue and just create a nice gradient effect going on in the background. So I was going to do a midnight sort of sky where it would have navy and blue, but ended up with this purple, not sure how, I don't know. I just kind of figured this sort of purple would look better because I've already got a lot of blue going on in here. So, okay. So basically I got this background and I was going to keep it pretty light up here, but I didn't really like how light it looked. So I just went in really hard with this purple pinkish color. And basically I'm just dotting background kind of like with stars. That's the biggest reason why I wanted to have a pretty dark background. And that's that. I was a little nervous about the background, but I think with the added star effect, it came out a lot better than what it was looking like. <laughs> And I really enjoyed these pencils. I'm so glad I decided to just use the pencils as opposed to my original idea was to use alcohol markers and then go over it with colored pencils. But yeah, I felt like this choice was much better. I felt it really shows off the capability of Arteza's colored pencils, which I'm very impressed with and super happy with. So if you enjoyed this video, maybe comment like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thanks guys. Bye.